Just finally, uh, we do live in a warped time uh, where anti-racists are virulently racist and those who call themselves anti-fascists behave like fascists. So I guess we shouldn't be surprised that a group that calls itself Hope Not Hate, who claim to defend and champion and promote democracy and the rule of law, are nothing of the sort, just another pack of intolerant uh, lefters who want to intimidate those who question their ideology. You've written about this group. Tell me just what what they've done recently and how they're trying to uh, shame people from following causes they don't back. Uh, they're an utterly shameful group. They're one of a number of organisations in the UK, as in the US and Australia, who pretend to be anti-fascist, but seem to me uh, just to need to drop the anti bit. Um, uh, this group also is wildly misnamed. It calls itself Hope Not Hate. It should reverse it. It's Hate Not Hope. Uh, it spends its time smearing people, libeling people, and doing very, very sinister tactics about which I think there's a lot more to come out. Uh, in order to try to pressure people in society to having the precise far-left political views that hope not hate has. This past week, they dropped a bombshell revelation. They said they had a deep investigation into the tweets, uh, 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 Rita, imagine it, tweets and likes of <laughs> tweets uh, by somebody who happens to be one of the owners of GB News, which is one of the balancing channels in the UK. And uh, because he'd liked tweets they didn't like, they said this is an extraordinary investigation. Of course, it's not an investigation. It's not an investigative journalism piece. All they did was sit eating crisps at their mum's keyboard whilst doing screenshots. Um, but, but, but these people want to be the policemen and the linesmen of our society. And you know what? Groups like this have had nothing to say about the weeks and weeks of anti-Semitic hate marches on the streets of London and other cities. They don't have anything to say about that, it seems. But my, my, they can really come down hard on somebody they don't like who likes a tweet that they don't like. They're pathetic. Douglas Murray, it's always a pleasure and we look forward to having you in the country in the coming weeks. Can't wait to be back.